Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. PNL Patreon family birthday shout out to retired Sergeant Harry Brown. He's living in the parish of Hanover. Sir Brown, bless up yourself. Also, PNL Patreon family birthday shout out to Avia, also known as Mar. Mar, you are all the way in New York. Now, let's hope that both of you will be having a wonderful birthday and may you live to see a whole heap more. Now, on to the news. But first, I have an apology to make. You see, over here, so, whenever we get a story wrong, we are not afraid of saying we are sorry and make amends. Because, over here, so, our aim is getting at the truth. It's not about ego or hype. Now, I posted a video footage yesterday. I was sent that video over 10 times yesterday. I was sent it again today at least 8 times. And the senders, they were saying the same thing. They were saying that it was Javito Smith, also known as CJR Caxter, who was in the water. Well, as I'm now finding out, it was not CJ in that video. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, that video was made on Friday. The day before, CJ would have lost his life in the pool. Now, I have spoken to the young man who was in the water and I have personally apologized to him. I am apologizing to him and the other youngsters in that video here and now. And I am also apologizing to you, the viewers and subscribers. Now, here are the steps I have taken. I have private the video and I'll be making it public as soon as YouTube is finished editing it. I'm blurring out the section of the video with the youngsters in the pool. Understand this. There was no ill intent on my part. And based on the persons who sent in that video, I had no reason to doubt that it was authentic. I have since spoken to some of them and I must say, <laughs> some of them are still convinced that it was CJ in the water. Well, the truth is, it was not CJ. Once again, my sincere apologies. This next incident, it took place yesterday afternoon. Monday, May 8, about 12.30. It took place at a place known as Industry in the Adelphi Police area in the parish of St. James. We are learning that a team of police officers, they were on patrol in the area when a group of men were seen. And seeing the police, the men ran into bushes. The police gave chase, but the men escaped. The area was searched and bingo. The police, they found one Browning 9mm pistol among other items. No one was arrested in connection with this find. But Adelphi police, enough respect. Over in the parish of Westmoreland. This one took place early yesterday morning. Monday, May 8, about 6 o'clock. It took place at Content in the Grange area of Westmoreland. We are learning that the Westmoreland police, acting on intelligence and armed with a search warrant, they carried out a raid at a house in the area and during a search, bingo. We are told that under the bed in the house, the police found a Heans white t-shirt mixed with other clothing. In the shirt, the police found that black and silver Smith & Wesson 9mm pistol. It was affixed with a magazine containing 5 rounds of 9mm cartridges. The police they also searched a wooden shelf that is attached to the partitioned section inside the room and one black sock was found containing an additional 13 9mm cartridges. Now, Three persons were found in the house. They were taken into police custody. And as soon as they are charged, I will tell you their names. But one of the males is 48 years old. We are told that he's the owner of the house. But hear this. The other male is 20 years old. 
we are told that he's from the content area, but he has been living in the Salt Spring area of St. James for a while. A female was also found in the house. She is 16 years old and she is from Salt Spring in the parish of St. James. Westmoreland Police, job well done. And intelligencers, big up on yourself. Now, we carried a story yesterday. And I told you about an incident that took place Sunday afternoon, May 7, about 4 o'clock. It took place at Zion District in the Hopewell area in the parish of Hanover. That lady on your screen, her name is Margarita Campbell, but she was popularly known as Miss Claudette. Miss Claudette was shot and killed by hoodlums. Two men and a woman were also shot and injured. I told you that that female on your screen, she had received gunshot wounds to her head and she was battling for life in hospital. Her name is Shari Distin. She is 24 years old and she lived in the same Hopewell area. Well, I am sad to report that Shari, she has lost the battle. Shari, she succumbed to her injuries yesterday in the Cornwall Regional Hospital. Sad indeed now at the end of the stories i'm gonna be showing you miss claudette's last moments alive i'm gonna show you when the hoodlums came into her shop and when they left after creating mayhem you are not gonna want to miss the video footages stand by for that because guess what somebody must know one of these hoodlums stand by for that this next incident it took place yesterday morning, Monday, May 8, about 8 o'clock. It took place right in the vicinity of the Dragon Meat Plus Wholesale at Market Street in the Charles Garden Market in Montego Bay. We are learning that a man, his name is Fitzroy Jamie Lawrence. He is 35 years old and he is said to be a higgler. He lived at Belfont in the Catadupa area of St. James. We are told that for a while now. Fitzroy, he has been selling fruits from his white Toyota Tones at the said spot. Well, yesterday morning, he was out on the hustle when he was approached by three hoodlums. One of them was armed with a gun. The hoodlum opened gunfire, hitting Fitzroy in his head and his upper body. They then made good their escape on foot in the market area. From all indications, Fitzroy died on the spot. We are told that when the police were called and they processed this crime scene, four 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. Now, this next incident, it took place yesterday afternoon, Monday, May 8, about 12.30. It took place at Crawford Street in the Mount Salem area of St. James. We are learning that three men were standing in the vicinity of a shop in the area. One of them is that man on your screen. His name is Enel Downer, but he was popularly known as Bo. He is 23 years old. Another man was also standing there. His name is Gavin Mills, but he was popularly known as Botty. He is 35 years old. The third man, he's called Tonis. He's said to be in his mid 20s. We are told that all three of them are from the Mount Salem area. It is reported that the three of them, they were standing in front of the shop when a white Toyota Axio motor car drove from the direction of the Cool Oasis gas station. The car stopped in the intersection of Crawford Street and Mount Salem Main Road. We are told that two hoodlums jumped out of the car. One of them was armed with a M16 rifle. And the other one, he had a 9mm pistol. The two hoodlums, they opened gunfire at the three men, hitting them in their head and their upper body. The hoodlums, they then jumped back into the Toyota Axio and they made good their escape. The three men, they were rushed to the nearby Cornwall Regional Hospital by residents of the area where Botty, he was pronounced D-E-A-D on arrival. Townist and Bow. They were admitted for treatment, but Bo, he died shortly after. We are told that Tonis, 
he's still battling for life. The police were called and when they processed this crime scene, 14 9mm pen shells and 8 5.56 pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Let me ask are you tired of me reminding you? Well, guess what? <laughs> if you are tired, <laughs> that uh, for your business because my nice, clean subscribers, they are constantly reminding me to remind them to hit on the love button. I guess because me want to know hit on it, me not stop reminding you. <laughs> All right? Now, in the final story for today, that would love on your screen. His name is Roger Sterling, but he was popularly known as Snake. He is 24 years old. And Snake, he's originally from the Salt Spring area of St. James, but he was recruited in a gang that is based in the Churchill area of Flankers in the parish of St. James. Snake, he first came on the police radar when he and one of his cronies shot an injured Buffalo Rebel. Do you know who Buffer Rebel is? You don't? Alright, stand by. Now, Snake and his crony, they were arrested and charged for shooting Buffer Rebel. The case was eventually dropped because Buffer Rebel himself was facing shooting charges and the parties agreed that there would be peace among them. That peace was short-lived because hoodlums on both sides, they continued shooting at injuring and killing each other if you look on your screen i carried that story on sunday february 12th buffer rebel he was again attacked shot and seriously wounded it is said that roger sterling he was implicated in that shooting just last month he was again implicated in another shooting it took place on holy thursday morning April 6, about some minutes after 10 o'clock. It took place right in the vicinity of the Flankers football field, near to the JDF base at Flankers in the parish of St. James. That guy on your screen, his name is Darian Bowman, but he was popularly known as Shavai. He is 21 years old and he lived at Rock District in the Falmouth area of Trelawney. It is said that Shavai, he was an associate of Buffo Rebel. It is said that Snake and at least two of his cronies, they saw Shavai, ran him down and put bullets in his body. Shavai received gunshot wounds to his chest and his left leg. If you look on your screen, there is Shavai when he ran out onto the main road after he was shot. I'm going to be dropping the entire video over on Patreon. I can't show it here. The hoodlums also fired shots over the JDF base. Luckily, none of the soldiers were injured. So, those are just some of the atrocities Roger Sterling, also known as Snake, was implicated in. I am sure there is a lot more where he was not identified. But early yesterday morning, Monday, May 8, about some minutes after 4 o'clock, Snake's luck ran out. A team of police officers, they went into the New Road area of Flankers. We are told that they went in search of a guy, popularly known as Jayo. He's wanted for murder and other crimes. The police, they are claiming that on reaching the premises where Jayo was said to be hiding, hoodlums opened gunfire at them. The police, they are saying that they took evasive action and returned the fire. And when the smoke was cleared, Snake was found wounded and clutching a point .45 pistol with one live round. The gun was taken from him and he was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced D.E.A.D. The mayhem. So, as promised, I'm going to show you the last moment of Miss Claudette's life. It's hard to watch, trust me. But guess what? This is the reality we face. Watch this.
Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Brick Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Yeah. 
Man, a blood of murder. Don't you be a murder. 